So in my last video, I discovered that my well, which is located under the house, had been flooded, water threatening to rise up to the floor or higher, flooding the entire house. After doing some research, I got this submergible water pump. <gasps> it's going, it worked. Can you believe it? I did it, I did it. And so we managed to drain the water. It was up, right up to the second step, remember? What's going on? Whoa, honestly, less than 24 hours and it has come up one step. So I guess it will be an ongoing job whilst this flooding is happening. This time I managed to drain much more than previously, but there was still no sight of the bottom of the well, so I can't tell you how deep it is. All I know is that I need to keep an eye on it daily, making sure the water pump stays above the water. Oh my god, no way, no way, no way. Wow. Merry Christmas! so beautiful like a night sky with stars come snoopa wait for me wait we need to take a video wait don't you look gorgeous like a night sky full of stars good boy yeah enjoy enjoy the snow yes hasn't snowed for a day or so so yeah it's been a while eh oh lovely Seemed like this winter just didn't want to go away. Felt like it had lasted forever. Like I was living through it several lifetimes. What's going on? Whoa! Now, because the weather's been a little bitch, ground stayed wet and soggy which all contributed to the flooding, adding to the underground waters, which kept overflowing my well. I just had to stay on top of the game and keep draining it out in order to save the water pump as well as not let the water come into the house. Thankfully, someone came to rescue us. Firstly, because this water system involves electric connection, all the wiring needed to be safely disconnected before the water pump could be taken out. When the well was kind of sorted, I came back to clean up when I realized how much I actually hate this room. I mean, 
What is this soul? And this tiny space in the middle. A decent sized human wouldn't be able to move here at all. There was only one solution. The more I cleared out, the more damage I discovered. So, to see the clear picture, there was only one option. I don't know if you can, guys, but I can picture exactly how amazing this space can look. I can picture exactly, and I bloody love it. I bloody love it. These ones, mmm, sprottes. So basically, herrings in uh, sunflower oil. Oh my god, these are damn good. These are gourmet, actually, these are the best quality. Uh, they sell them in tins as well, but uh, that's not as quality as this one. And, of course, mm, cakes. By the way, guys, if you are wondering where Lottie is, whilst I was on my road trips, she was staying with my cousin. But the thing is that Lottie now loves there so much that we decided that for her it would be much better to stay there permanently. Now that the space was cleared out, we could put the water pump in a place. This time above the well, which is a common sense, isn't it? But this is just a temporary system as, as you can see, this room is in a desperate need of a repair. Everything, starting from the ceiling, walls, floor, and also this side, where the toilet is, needs to be ripped out. As well as here. Wow, madness. Everything is either rotten, damp, or crumbling away. But despite of the poor state, as I said, I can clearly picture how amazing this room will be once it's all repaired and done up nicely. All I can say for now is that it will be my bathroom with a shower cabin, toilet, water heater, with some cool features, a mirror, and what else? Now, remember due to recent floods and ground being so wet, I ruined my driveway badly. There just wasn't a way to park there until I repair it. And so I did my best gathering rocks from ditches as I drove around. And bucket by bucket, I filled the holes and gaps as well as the ground was slowly drying out. I think all my hard work has been well worth it.
It looks like I will be soon able to park here again. Then a miracle happened. The sun came out. What an amazing feeling, not having to wear layers and layers of clothes. The temperatures climbed up to 17 degrees and all I wanted was to spend all day outdoors. Which I did, but not really lying in the sun, chilling, doing nothing. The tree planting season had begun. And so I had to move my butt if I wanted to get it done, as it doesn't last for long. A couple of weeks until the leaves start to appear, that's it. So first I got these type of cypress trees, which C would screen my yard from that little country lane off nicely. Wow, they really look so great there. And here I planted a few baby pine trees. Not sure if you can see them in this lighting, but once they all grow, it's gonna look so cool. Also, them being green all year round, it will be great to see some color in the winter. I would say, the greener, the better. Then it was Easter and we went to visit relatives and friends. Wow. Somewhere in between, I visited my caravan, stayed a night, used my neighbor's washing machine. As you do, did my washing. It was great to be back. I'm so looking forward to spend some peace and quiet time here in summer. After Easter, the nature really started to awaken fast. What a difference a few days of sunshine and warmth made. Especially when you think that less than a week ago it was still snowing. Well, I still had time to plant more trees. It was a big decision time for every single tree that I brought here. I had to think into the future, imagining them being grown and tall. How will they shape the area? How they will surround the garden? 
where they will form the shade also, will I still be able to watch the sunset from my yard? Yeah, things like that. But I love it. <laughs>